Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Nightwing number 103, year one, part three of six, guest starring Dead Man. Got a nice little image here of Nightwing on the cover with uh, Dead Man kind of appearing in the reflection of the mirrors behind him. It does kind of look like he's in a fun house at the circus. And you can see Dick's wearing a slightly altered version of his Nightwing costume that looks very reminiscent of Dead Man. We open with Donna Troy, the then Wonder Girl. Uh, she's been put in charge of the Teen Titans while Dick's off finding himself. She's, of course, on the phone with Dick, who's checking in on things. And Gar's transformed himself into a squid in order to perfect, in order to prepare breakfast for everyone. She's having a little uh, adjustment time there, guys. Um, while Cleveland Brand, Dead Man's brother, uh, who is wearing the Dead Man costume, is off uh, practicing for his show at the circus. Then see a little... We then see a creepy little guy come up and start talking to uh, Dick. Uh, he says, uh, tough being on your own, huh? Away from the people you know has to be hard. And then, of course, Dick asks him, uh, what would you know about it? And, of course, the guy says, you'd be surprised, boy wonder. Um, he's acting extremely creepy. You know, he really creeps dick out uh and then he just kind of uh after he leaves he realizes that the guy called him boy wonder he goes over and talks to cleveland brand uh about the guy he doesn't really tell him specifics or anything but just asks him what he knows about him and everything uh, he has some flashbacks of the flying graysons falling to their deaths um and then an image, uh, he sees a poster of his dad, Johnny Grayson, in his old costume. Which is where both Boston, where both Boston and Cleveland brand got the idea for their costumes, was to pay tribute to a sacrobat, Johnny Grayson, Angel Without Wings. Which gives a nice little, uh, nice little nod to Dead Man's origins as well and how he came up with his costume. Then we come into the Wayne Manor, and Alfred finds a boy tied up to a chair in the Batcave. First he thinks it's Dick, but it turns out to be Jason Todd. Apparently this happened right after Batman caught him uh, stealing the wheels off the uh, Batmobile. Uh, however, I don't like the way they redid this, because in the original... Jason was a redhead who eventually dyed his hair black. Uh, but here, he's natural, dark-haired. Uh, we then see a little girl who uh, does the same thing with Dick as the uh, midget did. And apparently she calls him a uh, boy wonder as well. Uh, Dick finally gets his new costume. Begins practicing, whatever. A lion escapes, and Dick flies into action, uh, saving a lot of people from this lion. Uh, the circus uh, manager, whatever, um, asks him if he can do that twice a night, and he'll increase his pay uh, by quite a bit. Uh, Dick, of course, declines the offer. Sets out on his own, and that's when Boston Brand takes possession of his brother's body. And of course, Dick knows exactly who he is right off the bat. Realizes it's Boston Brand, the dead man. And then, eventually Boston goes back to the Batcave. Possesses Alfred. 
and give, keeps Bruce up to date on what's been going on with Dick. Then, of course, we see Jason donning the Robin suit for the first time. And uh, Dick leaving the circus in full Nightwing costume. The artwork was pretty good in this. Um, I really liked it. Um, it's not bad. Not super cartoony. Uh, the the cover kind of hints at more of a cartoon, cartoony look. Uh, but overall, it's not bad. Um, I just wish they would have... Uh, Adjusted a few things with Jason Todd right off the bat. Story was pretty good. How they tied Dead Man's Origins in with Nightwings. And Robins for that matter. There you go guys. Nightwing number 103. Guest starring Dead Man. Year 1 part 3 of 6. I'm Shannon for Comic TV. Take care.